Okay, so I have a six foot bed. It's a short bed Silverado truck, 2014. I have a Kodiak truck tent that I purchased and it's really fun. Ends up looking like a little uh, covered wagon when I'm done. And so, but it takes a little while to set up and my wife and I like to be very mobile when we camp. We like to be able to drive somewhere, set up camp late in the day, uh, take it down in the morning, drive somewhere else, set up camp late in the day. And so taking a half an hour every day to set up the tent really seemed like a lot. So I figured out how I can do a quick setup and still have a lot of room in the bed of my truck by just storing it partially assembled. So here we go. It's in the back of the truck right now. I'm gonna open up the truck and see how long this takes. So come and show Brandon where it is in the back of the truck, how well it fits back here. And you're done. So the way I did it was I just collapsed the whole thing. These rails go on the sides. For my truck bed, I match these up right with the with the holes here on the side and approximately in the middle. Because I have a tonneau cover, I had to order these larger mouth clamps. This is a three inch by four and a half inch and it just barely works. But I found that these wood, lock, wood blocks here work just fine. So I put those on there and uh, this one has to go up here inside of this curve. So this is one of the things that takes the longest now to set up the tent. So what you have to do, I tried this once and I forgot. You kind of got to step inside of this plastic piece and be in the tent when you do this. Then grab all the poles and go like this. And you can then just start fanning this thing out. middle poles are all the same size so the three poles you can tell they're in the middle because they don't have the pointy things on the end for the for the um, canopy cantilevers or whatever they are so that right there the trick is part of the trick is to not put any of these straps on to begin with because they just restrict your ability to move things around and it, it will sit better, it will sit more naturally on the truck if you don't put those in first. So there's that side done. Now, take all these straps and they're all kind of sized already because I set it up and kind of got everything so it would fit nicely beforehand before I took it down. So now we got that guy there. A little bit of that. could have this pulled over a little bit. Probably should have half tightened one side and then half tightened the other side and kind of approached it like that. There are two awning poles and the larger of the two awning poles goes in the back. 
So when you're initially setting this up, you want to set that, you want to put that in the back. Um, but really, it's a very comfortable little tent in here. Got this nice rubber thing for wet shoes and wet clothing that you can set up right there. And, uh, and then there you are. Got your little covered wagon in here with some nice windows. There, this has a spot here where you can actually reach through if you open it up all the way. You can reach through into your truck through the back window. More circulation there and more circulation there. Each one of these things has a Velcro strap on it and it's tough to get those to line up. If you get it all kind of positioned and then take it down and then without strapping the exterior straps, um, just put this back up, it'll kind of just fall into place like it has now. So this is the best, this is the tightest I've even seen it. It's really nice and tight in here. Uh, that took us about 12 minutes. 12 minutes, okay. And that's with explaining things. So maybe 10 minutes and that's even putting the clamps on. Mm -hmm. So that does not take very long at all. So to take it down, um, the first thing you want to just do it kind of in a reverse order. Then from the inside, so that it doesn't go scratching your truck, we'll zip up all the windows. So then what you do is take these these poles and set them on the inside of the track like that that one that one then whoa. i'm gonna tend to want to do that so, i can't do it without my hat on <laughs> it was it was cool guy like that wasn't it but it fits without bending the poles or anything like that. And then you've got all the storage room in here. Plus, you don't have to re-thread all of the poles into the, in through the tent, especially the awning poles. So that's a quick setup, quick takedown. We're ready to close the tailgate. Well, actually I would need to take these off Done. 530. Not bad, huh? Not bad. Yeah, so that's a really quick way to do it if you want to be on the go. Set it up, go to bed, get up in the morning, tear it down, travel, pull in as late as you want, set it up, go to bed. Should be really quick and fun. So hope you enjoy.